All right, you guys, today we are talking about self-care because every single one of us needs to do this. It is so dang important. And, oh man, I have had this on my heart for a very, very long time. Like a very, 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 very long time on making a blog post and a video to go hand in hand on self-care because this world is hard and life is hard and we all go through things, whether it is big or small, that affect us and affect our lives. And um, it's so important for like me to use my blog, my YouTube channel, like, my, my platform for good and to shine light on important things like this. So today um, I put a list together. I even asked some of you guys on Instagram for some of your best self-care tips. And I have put together a list of the best 20 self-care tips. So I hope you guys really like it and find it useful and beneficial. These are all things that I do personally, have for a long time. They really help me, especially when I'm struggling and I'm down and I'm in a rut and I just need to do things to self-care. You know like we all do so there's no shame in this this is something that is like so important for us so remember that and check out the description I'll have everything down there um, if I mention anything or any links any apps any of the products I use anything I'll have it all down below so you guys can easily check it out um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already um, we are reaching a goal pretty soon here hopefully fingers crossed of 100,000 subscribers and when we reach that goal we'll be having a huge giveaway to celebrate. Um, also check out my blog if you haven't already. I built that baby from the ground up and I'm so dang proud of it and put a lot of time in that so um, there's also some like growth and self-help stuff on there as well and the blog post to go along with this video will also be on my blog. All my links to all my Instagram, my social media, all of that is down below as well. Um, and follow me on Instagram. I, I post them there almost daily and that's where you can really like keep up with me the best. So all right, let's jump into this first self-care tip and this one's probably my favorite. So if you're like me and you have trouble sleeping sometimes, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. Um, around Christmas, I just randomly started having the worst time falling asleep and staying asleep. So I randomly just searched sleep music on the app store and this app called Soul Time came up. Um, this is what it looks like. I have it saved in my folder along with like my Uversion app and like my daily devotional. But this right here is what it looks like. You open it up and if you turn the volume up, it instantly opens up with the sound of waves which is just so calming and like so nice and it moves and it's just so peaceful but there's so many different things that you can do on this app which is incredible there's daily meditation which is just like a two to three minute meditation with such a soothing voice with scripture and an uplifting message it's like brings you back in and centers you i love doing this in the morning because it just kind of sets the tone for my whole day um so i definitely suggest taking advantage of the meditation on the app it's so good there's also a section where you can track your mood um, on how you're feeling about yourself that day, how you're feeling about others that day, about your situation, and it tracks it for a long period of time so you can go back and you can reflect on it, which is really useful. There's also a lot of different categories down below. So under the rest app, um, there's a ton of new sleep stories that were just added. Um, there's also the books of the Bible and it will read it to you. It's like, it's so nice. Um, there's also ambient music, worship music, other Bible readings, and then there's classical music. And I mean, you can just like scroll for days. There are so many different categories and so many different readings and music under every category. Like there's just gonna, you're never gonna run out. There's something for everyone. There's a section on anxiety and anger, um, going through hard times, connecting, forgiving yourself, hope and disappointment, um, a ton of different authors and books there's even like a whole self-care section like how fitting is that um personal growth emotions relationships like so many different categories for anything that anyone is going through I mean, it's so good um the bible section um and then you can also like track you can do checkups journals you can set a timer so you can just fall asleep to this at night which is what i do um you can set favorites this first stirrings right here is when I fall asleep to every single night. I just put it on a timer and just let it run like all night. So I fall asleep to it and wake up to it in the morning. So yeah. Anyways, I'm like really carried away. This is not sponsored. Um, I just really love this app and I'm just very thankful that it just like fell into my lap the way it did. So definitely if you are in need of something like this, 
um, check out Soul Time. I will have the link down in the description. Okay, so I wanted to share the app first because it kind of ties into some of my next tips. Um, which the next one is creating your own like uplifting and powerful positive playlist. I have a, an entire playlist dedicated to this on Spotify actually. It's called Uplifting and Powerful. Um, I will link it down below if any of you want to check it out. I highly suggest it. It's just like upbeat and good and uplifting. You just like can't even like be in a bad mood or like down or anything when you listen to like a playlist like this. And it's filled with some of my favorite artists and favorite songs that are just Christian and upbeat and positive and just like so dang good. So um, yeah, create your own uh, playlist of some of your favorite songs that just like get you in a good mood and just inspire you. Um, also on my Spotify, I have some of my favorite podcasts. I've gotten into podcasts the past few months and holy crap, like they're so good. I like to listen to them in the morning when I'm getting ready or when I'm working out, when I'm on the treadmill, going on a run, whatever it may be. Um, I love Elevation by Stephen Furnick. Um, I love The Porch. Gosh, what else? Joyce Meyer. Um, there's a few other on here, so I will also try to link um, as many as I can down in the description for you guys to check out if you'd like to. Um, but it's just one of those things that just like fills your head with knowledge and it fills you with positivity. You just get to hear good, uplifting messages instead of like all the negativity of the world that you're just trying to get away from in the first place. So, highly recommend um, music and podcasts. Okay, so one thing that I think is so important to do first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up are words of affirmation and saying what you're thankful for. Literally, like, jump out of bed, hit the ground running, get in front of the mirror, smile to yourself. Even if you have to, like, force a smile, I promise it just, like, is an instant mood booster. Just try it and see. It just, like, does something to you. Um, and then words of affirmation, which I love Pinterest for. I have, like, 10,000 boards on Pinterest, and I have one specifically for, um, like, uplifting and like inspirational things um, and then self-care and mental health so I will link both of those boards down below if any of you guys want to check it out um, but these are some of the affirmations that I like to look at and read out loud every day so things like start each day with a grateful heart um, in a world where you can be anything be kind be good to yourself and a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles so things like that that are just nice to get out there and start your day with also just saying like five or ten things that you're grateful for so um, for me like I'm grateful for my family and my friends and my health and my kitty and my online business um, and just like saying some things that you want for the day like today I will accomplish this or today I will be doing this and today I will go and do this you know just as examples however it relates to you in your life and your situation so just putting like positive things out there talking to yourself in that way first thing in the morning um, is definitely just something that is gonna start your day off right right on the right tone so if you're having a lot on your mind you're feeling overwhelmed anxious you just like you feel like your head is spinning do a brain dump which is basically where you grab a journal just like this one this is my old grocery list but you just grab any kind of um, journal and literally just like write out all your thoughts all of your concerns, your worries, your fears, what you're excited for, what you're joyful for, what makes you happy, like any any thought that comes to your mind, dump it out on the paper. And I promise it's just something that helps to clear out your mind, just gets it all out there and you will feel so much better. So my next tip is to get ready. And even if you don't have anywhere to go or you're just gonna be in the house all day, at least just put on some athleisure wear, do your hair, put a little bit of makeup on, because I swear there's just like something about actually getting ready, getting dressed, doing something with your hair, doing something with your makeup, um, maybe even like self-tanning. Like self-tanning just like does something to you, right? Am I really one that like when I put on self-tanner and it develops, I just feel like a brand new woman. Like it just does something to you. So I definitely suggest like getting ready, do your whole beauty routine, maybe even try something different with your hair, try something different with your makeup, try something different with your clothes or your style. I get so much inspiration from, from Pinterest on different style looks. So just have fun with it. Um, because something about that makes you just like feel like you have it together. <laughs> and it's so fun. So this next step kind of goes along with taking care of yourself in the sense of getting ready in the morning, putting on makeup, doing your hair, putting on clothes and all that, but also taking care of your body on the inside. So eating clean, drinking clean, cut out all the junk food, cut up all the sugar, like cut out all the crap, um, and eat healthy and eat good, eat whole foods and fruits and veggies, um, try a smoothie in the morning, drink tea. So another thing worth mentioning is vitamins and supplements, and I want to share with you guys some of the supplements that have really worked well for me, um, just with my like overall health and how I feel, but also my really bad digestive issues that I was suffering from for a long time. 
So the first one is my Ultra Professional Probiotic, and this is hands down the best quality probiotic I have ever tried before. This really helped with my digestion. It is a doctor formula from Dr. D. Maiato uh, from Ask the Pharmacist. He has an entire lineup on his website of excellent quality uh, vitamins and supplements, and I swear by this probiotic. I will use this every single day of my life. It has done miracles for me. Another thing that has been really good and done miracles for my digestion is the OptiGreens 50 from First Form, and this is an excellent quality green powder. So it helps to improve your gut health, it helps with digestion, which I desperately needed, um, and also just helps you get the nutrition that you may not be getting from your food every day. Um, so this is made with really clean ingredients, the science behind this is excellent and it's so impressive. Um, and it tastes pretty good too, I mixed in with like half water, half juice. So I definitely recommend the Opti Greens as well. It has helped change my, my skin, my energy level, and my digestion so much. Uh, next is the Vegan Power Pro from First Form. This is the best tasting protein powder I have ever had, and I've tried a lot. I have the vanilla flavor, and it tastes like cake. It is so good and so sweet, but it's made with good, clean ingredients. One scoop has 19 grams of protein, which is amazing, and it's an excellent vegan, plant-based uh, protein powder if you are interested. So I will have everything linked down below, the probiotic, the greens, and the vegan powder if anyone is interested. Um, also, like when you eat clean, it reflects in your skin. So the better that you eat, the clearer your skin's gonna be. Um, and that also goes towards making you feel good because your skin is nice and glowing. Um, also taking really good of your skin and the fact of like good skincare and like face masks. In the past few months, I've been using a natural skincare line called Ivy Leaf. It comes with like this little like sonic vibrating like facial massager that feels so good it's like a spa like in your shower so um, I will also link Ivy Leaf down below along with everything else but yeah just taking care of yourself outside the inside your skin everything this might sound a little bit different but subscription boxes are so dang fun and they're like a little gift that you get each month or a little surprise that you get each month and who doesn't love a surprise who doesn't love a gift so I really like Kinder Beauty Box. I've talked about them a few different times now. But they are a cruelty-free, vegan, and clean ingredient natural beauty subscription box where you just get a ton of really good, nice cosmetic skincare, um, sometimes even like hair care, um, at a super good value. And you just like never really know. It's a surprise, it comes right to your door. And it's just so fun. And then you get to play with new makeup and try new products. So I think that's something like you're gifting to yourself and it's just like a nice little treat to treat yourself. So this is something that really helped me a lot and that was getting involved with a church group that is a part of my church and just surrounding myself with like-minded people and people that were going to lift me up, give me good advice and good pep talks and just people who are like loving and caring and care about you and want to help you and want to see you succeed. Um, because they say you are who you surround yourself with so I honestly just think that like getting involved with your church or a life group or something like that will be extremely beneficial especially like when it comes to your own thoughts and how you think about yourself and your situations so yeah definitely surround yourself with good people that want to support you and see you do good so I know so many people are big coffee drinkers but have you thought of tea because tea Green tea, black tea has just as much caffeine as a cup of coffee, but it's so much healthier for you. And I've become so much more of a tea lover. I just swear by it. You can get tea with caffeine and a bunch of different flavors. Um, they also have like energy drinks, like V8 Energy is made with green tea and it's so much better for you than like a Red Bull or something. Um, there's also tea that you can drink at nighttime and tea that even helps you fall asleep. And they're natural and they're not filled with crap and sugar and like fillers and chemicals and all that. So yeah, try drinking some tea. I'm so obsessed with it and I think it really helps. So one thing that is super popular right now is essential oils and it's for such good reason. I'm obsessed with essential oils. I think everyone should try it. Everyone should use them. I use them every single day. I have the pillow spray and the shower spray and the roller balls. I make them. I live by them. I love them. There's different essential oils for different things to help you. Like lavender helps you to calm down and sleep and eucalyptus helps to clear your mind, get rid of headaches, which I suffered from for a really long time and like sweet orange helps to lift your mood. There's just so many different beneficial properties to essential oils. So if you haven't tried them already, definitely try them. I'm actually in the middle of 
making my own Etsy shop, like starting my own little business because I love making these blends. So one day I will have it up and ready to go. And when I do, you guys will be the first to know about it. So definitely stay tuned if you are interested in that. Okay, the next tip is get some sunshine. Just go out, go outside, take a walk, take a jog, even just take like a jewelry rod and have the windows down, get some fresh air, listen to some of your favorite music, listen to the birds, see the squirrels, see nature, be in nature, um, go on a nature walk, like just get outside and get some sunshine. Sunshine is incredible and it will help you feel so much better. That's just like one thing guaranteed that I do. If I'm feeling down, I will go outside and I'll just like soak up the sun. I love it. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs it up because it helps a lot. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already because that helps even more. Um, if you like my content and you think that some of your friends or family would like it, then please share my video with them. And yeah, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite self-care tip is. I want this to be a video in a community to help everyone, so drop your ideas down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye!